Yo, what's cracking everyone? It's your man, Mr. Fomer Simpson. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Now my brother and I just got back from the Under Armour Curry One event out in the Bay Area. We were out there for three days and it was definitely a good experience. So I just wanted to do a quick recap. Day one was Wednesday. We spent a lot of the day traveling really. Took a flight from JFK to Salt Lake City, which was like six hours. And I got stuck in a middle seat, of course. Check out MrFomerSimpson.com if you want to hear more about that debacle. Then we went from Salt Lake to Oakland, got to the hotel around 4-ish, and Under Armour had the room all decked out. Duffel bag, gear, kicks, snacks. And the coolest part was they gave us this brand new phone, and on the phone, they had the itinerary all laid out. I thought that was really dope. They even had a 3D virtual tour where you put the phone in these Horace Grant goggles. It was like going to the IMAX theater. Not really, but it was still pretty sweet. So after that, we linked up with the homie Cousteau and grabbed a bite to eat at Shane Dong. Banging ass Chinese food, homemade noodles, just ridiculous. Shouts to Cousteau, by the way. It's always good to chop it up with him. He's a great dude. Day two was busier. We ate a good breakfast, relaxed a little bit, and then drove out to St. Joseph, Notre Dame High School, which is where Jason Kidd went to high school. They had it all set up with Curry One posters and the whole nine. We spent about an hour talking to the designer of the shoe, Steph and Mark Curry. Who remembers him, the dude from Hanging with Mr. Cooper? He was kind of hosting the event, I guess you could say. You know, if you're concerned about, you know, about your shoes, then you're not off to a good start. Then we went to the locker rooms. They had jerseys, shirts, kicks all laid out for us. We suited up and warmed up with Dave Hopla, a pretty famous shooting coach. We did some drills. Steph actually jumped in the drills, too. He was mad cool, by the way. Real humble dude. After that, we played two games of four-on-four. Four. We won the first game, lost the second game. Win some, lose some, you know how that goes. Then we played a game of knockout, and believe it or not, I was actually able to knock Steph Curry out. Avocados for the guac boy. Shortly after that though, the shooting coach, Dave Hopla, knocked me out, but it was definitely fun nonetheless. And that was pretty much it for the on-court stuff. Wish we could have got more footage, but we weren't able to. I talked to the people over at Under Armour, and they said they might possibly be able to send some on-court footage. So if they do, We'll be sure to post that. Day three, which was Friday, we shot a video in the morning, then got up with Trey and Jay Jones from Kick Genius. We took the train to San Francisco, walked around, went to a few stores. It was cool to chop it up with them a little bit. Definitely respect their work ethic. They're doing big things, so shouts to them. And then that night, we went to the Warriors-Cavs game. LeBron didn't play, but it was still a good game. We had a suite, everybody was there, so that was dope. And we basically just hung out and enjoyed the game. Now, when we got back to the hotel, we were absolutely starving. So we hit a chicken and waffles joint. Me, my brother, Cousteau, and Jay Jones. This place was so good. Again, check out MrFomerSimpson.com for a chicken and waffle food review if you're into that kind of thing. And that's pretty much it. The next day we flew back to NYC and I was able to get exit seats on both flights. So that was a plus and we made it safe. I wanna say thank you to Under Armour for having us. We really do appreciate it. And thank you for watching. It's because of you, the people who watch and support these videos that we're getting opportunities like this. So thank you. And until next time, Mr. Former Simpson, out.